Another beautiful Los Angeles day. Man, we're so spoiled. But let me spoil you a little bit more. Turn this up. This is Power 106. Get up. I'm off to work. Breakfast sandwich in the microwave. Yo, know, Mom, one day I'm gonna own a restaurant, make banks, so you don't have to work at your crappy job. Not before I beat the casino. Then I'll support your college education, and you won't have to go to your crappy job. Is that clock right? It's a.m. Oh, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get up. Oh. Oh, well, I guess you're already up. <laughs> Celia, some privacy, please? Excuse me, I am your stepmother now. You need to call me Mom. Oh, OK, you know what, Celia? Mom. Mom, uh, OK, this is really awkward. Honey, there's nothing awkward about this. Sex is a very natural thing. Would you like a lotion? What? I know what kind of lotion you need. You need the cocoa butter. Yeah, sure. You're disgusting. Ay. Get up. Get up. Wake up. Uh, time to go to work. You know, before I thought I had it all, but I, I didn't have a community that I belonged to. And, well, now I do. <laughs> He's building a fleet of taco trucks to serve love and tacos. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? I mean, I got something to say. Um, before I had, I had an addiction, you know? I, I, I was what you would call per, 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 no, no, it's presumptuous. I was in the ladies with really big lumps everywhere, you know? So one time I was with this hyena, you know? We got down a little crazy. And then, you know, she comes back at me an hour later, she's talking about she's pregnant. So I did what any real man would do, you know? I booked it. And then I changed my beeper number. And then that's when I found Bruce. Bruce, you changed my life, dog. Right. I said, to, hey, you have a heart of gold, dog. Come here. Come here. Nope, no, nope. no, I said, never touch me. Okay, I'll give you a job. That's enough. Thank you. Give me a taco, yeah? No. Nope. Thank you Just for sharing. Sorry about this. <laughs> Well, I anyway, I I'm a very hands-on person, so with each new truck that I open up, I'm right there working with the workers, making sure everything's tip-top. And uh, I have a philosophy. Yes? And that is that you need to give cholos jobs, not drugs. Uh, you need to give them tacos, not guns. You need to give them hope, not hip-hop. Bruce took all my anger and rage, and he channeled it into cooking. Oh, that's great. You know what? He, he taught me skills on how to handle pressure without hurting people. Yeah. Hey, mom. These guys, they're my vatos. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Which one of you took my wallet? Which one of you guys took my... What they didn't. <laughs> they didn't take oh. my wallet. That's the kind of fun racial humor we have down here at Taco Gondo. <laughs> well, Bruce might look like the Migra, but he is not deporting people. He is importing love. Back to you at the studio, Lauren Schwartz Lopez reporting live from Taco, Taco Gondo. What's wrong, Mom? My work just called. They said not to come in today. I just lost my job. They're relocating to India. What? What am I gonna do? I owe more on the house than it's worth. <laughs> We're gonna survive this, Mom. That's what we're gonna do. It's your taco shop money. It's your dream. Please don't. But then you won't be able to pay for the house, Mom. Please just take this as a backup. Thank you, son. You'll get this money back. I promise. No, Mom. Be late to work. Love you, Mom. Love you too, mijo. 
Wonder Fresco, let's go. KBWR, Los Angeles. Power 106. Dude, I can't believe today's your last day of work, man. No, it's not. This letter's useless. A letter? Wait a second. Your dumbass wrote a resignation letter for a taco shop? What? Dude. It's not IBM you're working at, okay? It's IB Mexicano, at best. I mean, besides, you're supposed to steal something first and then Quinn give your boss a finger. Yeah, well, my mom got laid off today. That's messed up, man. So, no taco shop for you, man? No tasty-ass recipes of yours? Dude, that's your dream. Yeah, my dream can wait. I was gonna hire a bunch of fine-ass girls to work there, dude. I had the entire Corona Girl bikini team on board, dude. Q, it's a taco shop, not a strip joint. No, it was gonna be a cheaper hooter. It's gonna call it cooters. No wings, just breasts and thighs. Uh, I'm glad somebody has a dream, Q. Oh, damn it, don't look. Joel's always mad dog, and I don't want to start anything. Wait, what, Joel? What, Joel? That one right no, there? No, don't look at me, man. Come on. All right, uh, check this out. Watch this, guys. What are you gonna do? No, just watch. No, watch. watch. No, Next. watch. This is gonna no. be funny. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh um. my. <laughs> 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 What's up, Esse? You're hitting up on me? You think a cute or something? I'm not like that. No, man, look, it was it was a joke, okay? I was just joking around. Hey, homie, cool it. I know these guys. Oh, Squiddy. We cool. But he winked at me. <laughs> well, you like me? I think I like you too, but what? I ain't gonna do anything about it. You think it's weird that we're attracted to each other? You think it's wrong? What? Just because you're attracted to me don't mean I'm attracted to you, because I'm not that way. Ever since I've been in prison, I'm back to being straight. Relax, he didn't mean anything. Oh, Squiddy. Tell him to relax, not to tempt me. He don't know me that way. You might have a cute look and all, but I'm not gay. Hey, man, we're just here waiting for our boss to open up. That's all. Nah, man, look, it was, it was a joke, OK? I was just. I know you work, fool. OK. <laughs> oh, oh. You know that thing? <laughs> It's a little heterophobic. It's all good. Heterophobic? Kind of scary as hell. Yeah. Old Squiddy. Tapes of my big films. Wow, this is my biggest one. I was co-executive producer and co-lead. Black Cock Down? That's not what you think. Sequel to The Chicken Run? Nah. It's about an African-American rooster that fights depression. Cool. You can have one? No, I'm signing those and selling them on eBay. Why would you get out of porn, Gil? Yeah, I fell in love with my ex-wife, and I couldn't pass the physical anymore. Like an STD? No, like my heart. I've had plenty of STDs. I beat them all with vitamin C and positive thinking. I don't have gonorrhea. I don't care what that lab report says. <laughs> Let's go make some food. Smokes, get the trunk. You know, one time, guys, you know, I did a gay for pay one time. I wasn't proud of it. You know something? <laughs> hey, look at master. Do look at master. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> Okay, let's get started, people. Hey, old school Eddie, prepare the menudo. Right. Listen, folks, today is a very special day. We have a very special visitor, a Mr. Singh. He's Indian, from India. Oh, you mean like Slumdog Millionaire? That's Slumdog and a lot more millionaire. Mm -hmm. Now, right here, I have our proposal to make this into a profitable franchise establishment. We will grow all over Southern California. Which means each and every one of you, especially Smokes, has an opportunity to become a manager or assistant manager in a Taco Dollar establishment. Wow, first manager, then hey, president. I don't mean to break your heart, but no way in hell. Now, also I found out through our many connections that we have a surprise visit from the health inspector today. How'd you find that out? I asked him. We used to work together in medical clearances and porn. Now listen, people, I want to have A's. Screw the C's. I can't see Indians selling tacos. Don't they do casinos? He's a 7-Eleven Indian, you idiot. OK, no C's. What's so wrong with C's anyway? I, I averaged C's in high school. Look at me now. I'm doing great. You know, 
if we get anything that is less than an A, I will give you all pink slips. Now, let me introduce our newest employee to Taco Dollar. Welcome, Susie. She's my hire, so you two idiots better not mess with her. I know I don't have to worry about you. Hello, Miss Barry. I told you to call me E. Yeah, you know, like the uh, douche product. Oh, you got douche product. <laughs> that fool over there, that's Jorge Quesilla. We all call him Quesadilla because he's so dang on cheesy. And he smells like Limburger and he's got blue cheese between his toes. <laughs> <laughs> and this big bone brother right here, this is my baby Mighty Mac. Hello, my lady. Hi. We call him that because his greedy butt once ate 25 Big Macs in one setting. He's the only person I know to be banned from every single hometown buffet in the LBC. It's actually an exaggerated rumor. I only ate 23. And the cutie pie, drum roll please, in the corner. Get out of the way. This is my baby, Smokes. Smokes meet Susie, Susie Smokes. Let me guess, they call you Smokes because you smoke. No, it's because when I was a little kid, I burned my house down. Oh, sorry. I had you for Miss Lau's chemistry class. Rogelio? You were the class vice president, Miss 4.0. And you were never in class. Wow, now you two work here. Boy, that high school really worked out for the both of you. Okay, Susie is our new cashier. Susie, report to Eve. She's our head of HR and our marketing. Come on, people. Get to work. Sorry. You know, you can be so ghetto sometimes, always creeping up on somebody. Go! 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 I'm busy! <laughs> Yo! Oh, smokes. Check out our new product. I got that the car, that aqua, that geo, the hottest movies on DVD and Blu-ray. What you need? That Twilight Twizzle? That's the trilogy. What you need? What you need? Uh, can't today, Amber. Maybe next payday. Trevor, you being an old bull. Yeah, for sure, man. What? He, he said, are you broke? Oh, oh, yeah. Like, I ain't got no money, bro. Like, you should quit this job, bro. Exactly. <laughs> bro, <laughs> we can't believe that you come here every day and you're actually broke. Is that Mad Dog Tony? Shaved head and tattoos, it could be half this neighborhood. What's up, Bessie? This is for you. I want to apologize. It's cool if you're gay, because I'm not. Thank you. I wrote my phone number in the bottom of that teddy bear's ass. Damn, that cholo has a crush on you, dude. You guys gonna make Wetback Mountain? I think he wants to play hide the chorizo. Near. To be coming with a ding a ling. What are you eating? <laughs> Your competition. Ding. Yeah, you should try one of these bad boys. To now. What? Oh, please don't tell me you're eating the merchandise. Amber, Mugris. Smokes, you bring a box of napkins out of storage. Yeah. Mm. What's up? Oh, sorry, I called you ghetto. It's all right. No, it's not all right. Guillermo and I broke up, and it got real ugly. So I met this new guy. Real cat daddy. <laughs> Means he's an older guy. Like a uh, social security check gold? Because that's, that's pretty steady income. So I'll keep you posted as it pans out. I don't want to jinx it. All right. Mama needs this one to work. Good luck. Thank you. Where'd you get this? The new roach coach across the street. Go ahead, try one. Go ahead, try it, try it. I'm going. Oh, shit. oh, God. Oh, God, it's like marinated with soy sauce, garlic. It's... Oh, oh. What's that? 
It's like a food gas in my mouth. So good. It's like someone grabbed my taste buds and said, who's your daddy? Oh, skipped my taco truck. Tastes like Kobe beef. You're not gonna take this, are you, Gil? Son of a bitch, it's gonna die. And they're slammed with business like you wouldn't believe, Gil. God, it's all I need. 12 years building up a taco chain to lose it to a drive-by taco truck. We're gonna go over there and crip walk on them, ain't we, right. Gil? I want them dead. Well, competitively, like, do capitalism. What yeah. I'm saying is, I'm, I'm angry. I'm gonna check this out. Huh? I'm gonna check it out. Since she broke my heart, I'll never sleep the same. Okay, Cholos. We have had a banner year. We eliminated the church that was selling the tacos, and we got rid of the gang that was selling the cookies. The Girl Scouts? A bunch of little girls. They screamed a lot. Yeah, that's the ones. Well, anyway, they're gone. But Taco Gondo knows that in this environment, to survive, you have to crush the competition. And that's just what we're going to do. And our competition is right across the street, Taco Dollar. And by the time we're done with them, their dollar will be devalued like the Mexican peso. Because <laughs> the peso is what you guys use for money. It's, it's pathetic. But to get you going, I have some incentives if we make our projections for this quarter. Incentives and bonuses work for me. Hey, Hefe, um, I prepared a comprehensive PowerPoint presentation. Can we dim the lights? Don't ever say comprehensive to me again, OK? OK, so who likes a timeshare in Utah? Who likes fresh powder? All right, you guys probably never seen snow. All right, okay, all right. How about this? Donnie and Marie in concert. Oh, hell yeah! Hey, man, that Maria, she is firme. She kind of looks like a chola when she puts her hair up, eh? Hey, I'd hit that for sure, my right. boy. Okay, okay. Never talk about Marie that way. Your dirty brown skin will never touch her virgin white flesh. That is a new rule. No thinking about Marie Osmond naked with your dirty brown skin on her, okay? Hey, I hear you because you're only three feet away. Here's the scenario. You two are undercover as a hot, hungry couple, and you want his meat bad. I want his what? Did I say meat? Sorry, my bad. My porn days are creeping up on me. OK, you give me the 411. Uh, price, menus, customers. Got it? No. No? No. It's not my job description. OK. All right, there you go. Split it between both of you. Change your uniforms and go spy. Great job in getting us some extra cash. Uh, Starting a new semester next summer. Oh, what are you studying? Let me give you a hint. We are live in Huntington Park investigating a taco truck that might be selling more than just tacos. A news reporter? Yes, broadcasting major. Oh, are you going to uh, <laughs> interview me when my taco shop gets really big and famous? I will interview you. Looks like Charlie's in the wire. Hi, welcome to Taco Gondo. I'm Bruce. First time here? Yeah. Great. Taco Gondo, what a great name. Why? Oh, well, I did want to name it Taco Gandhi, but some guy up in Berkeley already registered the name, so Taco Gondo. But I love Gandhi, and I think he's one of the best guys that's ever died, so. Oh, you like my logo? Yeah, I have a foundation, community-oriented. I'm trying to give at-risk youth a second chance, you know? I don't think that's a youth. I know he has three in those child support. Just one second, if you could. Hey, Spider! Back to work, we have new customers here. Now, the, the big long-term plan is to have a fleet of taco trucks throughout Southern California. Here we grow again. <laughs> That's a McDonald's slogan. No, it's not. No, what it's I not. Think? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I said it first. I was in a bar and I said it, so okay. I'm willing to go to court to prove it. So do you have any uh, lengua? Yes, marinated cow tongue and our own special sauce. Guapo loco. Better be manning that grill, Bato. Hey, would you guys like some free t-shirts? How about that? You're both very attractive, so I'd love for you to have some.
What's up? I think Taco Dollar just declared war. I like war. Well, yeah, of course you do. You're a Mexican. You're a violent people. That's why I hired you. Uh, didn't you guys come over here? Yeah, don't blame us, you know, because you couldn't handle it. No, I'm talking about the taco truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Get your arm off me, please. Okay. Oh, you guys have a nice little visit? Oh, wow, T-shirts. Yo, know, they can't even park there. Why are you worried? I'm worried because food is a battle, and I'm a general, and a good general always worries. I played a general once. I made a camel cry. I would look like I was drilling for oil the whole time. <laughs> Did it one take. One. I'll never look at a camel the same way, ever. Mighty Mac, fix the DA. Start scrubbing. I want to get an A. Call me, boss. We talked about that roach coach across the way. Oh, they can't park that thing there. And I call the cops. They can park there. Oh, but you can't have a taco truck yeah. parked within 50 feet of a restaurant. Yeah, in our city. They're parked in another city. They found a legal loophole. Uh-uh. Yeah. That smells good. New recipe? No, it's our competition. Uh-uh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Try it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. It's good. I got a secret mm -hmm. recipe. We don't have a secret recipe. Need a secret recipe. We need a secret recipe like now. We have here a couple of Mexican food connoisseurs or corporate spies. You had your employees spying on me. What? I really hate spies. Oh, I'm sorry. Very rude. Have you met Mad Dog Tony? His name's not Mad Dog Tony. It's Gerardo. He used to work for me. He said I had to fire him because he took too many toilet paper rolls and ketchup. That guy, that spider, he used to be my ex fry cook. Yeah, but I had to fire him too. You know why? because he never washed his hands. I called him Mr. E. Coli. Remember me? I remember you. You never called me back. I remember you, El Guapo Loco. So pretty it hurts. He's a male model. Never made it. I've done some runway and print work. Yeah, three years in prison. OK, well, now they work for me, and we have a terrific location just across the street from you. So Mad Dog Tony, why don't you go ahead and just mark your territory? What the hell is he doing? <sighs> Damn. Really something else, huh? Honey, you need to drink more water. My God, it's like Secretariat. That's for firing me. It's a good dog, that dog. So, now that I have your attention, just want to let you know that we are at war with Taco Dollar, and the war will end when we close you down. Back to base, Cholos. What the hell? Where's the backup? Go to clean this place! Calm down, remember hey. your pressure. <sighs> Smokes throw some balls, please! Sorry, Stop Gil. Stop eating my food, they pissed on my foot! This is war, and they fired the first shot. The Mad Dog Tony has the power right there in his hands. What the hell is that? I stole it from a military lab. I used to be a custodian. I call it Ebola. Chemical warfare, my amigos. Go ahead, release it. married which which finger is the ring finger well traditionally the wedding band is worn on the left hand the, the uh, venum amoris was said to be directly connected to the heart a symbol of love on the left side of the body left hand learn all that in prison i read an encyclopedia back to front front to back back to front and i learned to make a great marlowe out of raisins in a toilet bowl <laughs> thanks old school in time homie 
up, Oscar? Whoa, what happened to you? My brother hit me. Hey, Mighty Matt. Yo, what's up, Smokes? Come here. Damn, Oscar! Dude, I got a hold of you. Chris Brown? Did you hit him? Yeah, but it was an accident. Here, look, dude, I'm sorry, man. Here, I got your burrito for you and your two buddies here. You know, my teacher almost called CPS. I'm not going to foster care because of your ass, whoa, okay? Whoa, whoa, settle down, bro. No one's going to foster care. You better treat me for the rest of the week, you fat ass. Hey, let's go. That's not nice. This is the Jets shirt versus the Jets. What's going on? What's up, SS? Whoa. Added you on Facebook. Okay. I poked you, fool. Gotta go. Better accept my friend request. Okay. See you later. All right. You should put some highlights on your hair. It'll bring out your eyes. Go get it. Yeah, go get that, please. Don't you say one goddamn thing to me. It's almost lunchtime. I have to finish cleaning up. Well, I'm just a little lunch. I bought this really delicious dish. It's called a semita, and it's bomb. <sighs> eat, rest. The dinner crowd is gonna kick your ass. You gotta eat something. Okay. Let's see what you can cook up. So what's up with the guy who mumbles all the time? What's his deal? Mugres. He used to be a luchador. Mexican wrestler. His name was El Moco Verde. Uh, if he had the suit on and the mask, he'd probably recognize him. So did he get messed up in the ring? No. Motorcycle accident, no helmet. Mm. A lot of people are, uh, like, make up reasons as to how he got messed up. Some claim it was drugs. That's even more messed up. Not really. I mean, they pay him to come speak at high schools. A drug counselor comes and tells the kids how drugs messed up Mugres, and then he speaks and it scares the hell <laughs> out of the kids. It's really funny. So is that his girlfriend? Oh, Amber? No, I, I, don't, I don't know. Mmm. Oh, my God. What's with the torta? Oh, it's not a torta. It's called a semita. <laughs> so good. It's from Oaxaca. That's where my grandma was born. <laughs> you really like my semita? Mmm. I really love your meat. Uh. How you doing, kid? I've been missing you. Things just aren't the same. Nah, T. You don't get it. I'm a taco man. Hand cut lettuce, tomato cheese, smell of tortillas. I love the smell of grease in the morning. I chose tacos. I chose music. I got a career. But I don't have you. No, you don't. But we'll always have that wild weekend at Rosarito. <gasps> that weekend changed my life. That's the ecstasy talking. You chose music. I chose tacos. Now get out of here before I beg you to stay. Today was supposed to be the day that I quit Taco Dollar and start my own taco shop. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna take a year off with all the money that I saved up. I have a perfect location near a medical marijuana dispensary. My mom lost her job, so I had to, I had to give her some of my savings so that we could keep the house. My dream can wait. So what about your dad? A dick. 
walked out on me and my mom when I was five. So you don't talk to him anymore? No. You're really good cook. So good. I know, I'd make a great wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, you would. <laughs> oh, my God, it's so good. It's too quiet in there. They may be dumb as dirt, but we shouldn't underestimate them. Should we kick it up? Let's heat this war up. You two just might be executive material. Like junior executives. You know, after an intern program, maybe. Titanic 3, are you serious, guys? It's not even a real movie. Duh, Jumanji. It's a black leg. Dude, your bootleg is bootleg. Titanic 2 is when they were looking for the boat. And Titanic 3 is when they found it and glued it back together. You need to download Netflix. Nate Holmes, city health inspector. I'm here to see Gil. Hey, inspector. We've been inspecting you. I mean, <clears throat> expecting you. Uh, yeah, let me grab Gil for you. He's right around the back. Why don't you just take a seat? Okay. Hello? How's it going? Want to buy some movies? You got, uh, got Sean John? I got that Sean P. Carter. That's Puffy and Jay-Z. You can smell like two rappers. West Side. I'm used to smelling like two rappers, like a, like a burger wrapper and a... And a toilet seat cover wrapper. Oh, yeah, I get it. You're a health inspector. Yeah. Dude, we still haven't caught the you know what. What? Shh. Take the counter. We'll take the rat. Rat? Ew, what? Shut your pretty mouth, please. Nate. Oh, are you? Please, Gil. Inspector Holmes. Oh. He talked about something in my office. Make it fast. I want to go somewhere and get something to eat. Dude, this is whack. Yeah? Turn this little rat into butter. Get him! Go ahead, rat! Go ahead! Whoa! Whoa, oh, man! This thing is on steroids! How oh. big is this thing? What? Dude, we're gonna need a bigger broom. No. We're gonna need weapons. Oh, all right, guys, come on. What's going on? Oh, those idiots haven't caught the rat yet. Oh, serious? Oh, gross. It's really gross. Yes. Today? OK. You know, it's just things are kind of crazy around here today. No, of course I want to see you. OK. I'm not wearing any calzones. <laughs> yes, looking forward to meeting you, too. Hey, you, uh... <clears throat> yes, it was my... <clears throat> <clears throat> what? Nothing. You're the one I was telling you about. My cat daddy. We've been chatting and texting. Excuse me, oh, girls. Fine. Gotta get back to the exciting oh fast God. food industry. Finally gonna get to meet him. What's up? It's crazy out there, man. Old school, I need some advice. You got it. What do you need? I, I like this girl, and I want to ask her out. You mean the new girl? Yeah. My advice is this. Ask her out only once. Why only once? Because if you ask a co-worker out more than once, it's considered sexual harassment, and you'll get sued or fired. You read that in the encyclopedia? No, it's in the guard manual at Chino Prison. So ask her out in a sincere, respectable manner. Cool. That, I mean, did you do a background check? Did you make sure he's not a pedophile? Pedophile? Girl, I got a goldfish. I don't want him messing with my pets. Oh, man. It took me years to make love to a woman after prison. In my first ride, a buzz cut. N no, uh, pedophile, P-E-D. Oh, like pedicure. Mm, I like it when a man suck on my toes. Called her Bob, I made her do my laundry. And then the bitch left me for a woman. <laughs> I am funny. <laughs> Are you 
saying black ground or background? Ba I'm gonna go Google it. Thanks for the tip, baby. Okay. Darling. Oh, yes. Enjoy your meal. Eve? Osvaldo. That. Hey. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, hey. For you. Oh. I never got roses before. Oh. You got them now? Mmm. Wow. In your picture, seems like your hair was darker. Oh, it's an older picture. You yeah. were taller. The camera adds inches. Wow. That too, that too. <laughs> but they can't add pretty. Oh. And you're pretty. Oh, Osvaldo. Thank you. Well, Why don't we go sit down and talk? Sure. Get to sure. know each other. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look into this taco truck. I think they may be selling drugs too. And maybe some terrorist activity. Really? I know for a fact they're not washing their hands. Well, that's serious. I hate non hand washers. Lavo sus manos, putos! Now, let's talk about your establishment. Wait. I got a little treat for you. Oh! Mm. Rolled on the thighs of virgins. Oh. <sighs> oh. Cuban cigars. Taco dollar make you holla, huh? Yo. Are you trying to bribe me? No, come on. Nate, come on. No, are you kidding me? I was given three boxes of Cuban cigars. What am I going to do with three boxes of Cuban cigars? I thought you'd like one. This does not predetermine your inspection. <laughs> Come on. Of course not. What's up? Oh, Eve's with her man, and he just brought her flowers. Aw, flowers. Women like simple things. Simple things? OK, I have to hear this. Uh, walking them home. Opening doors and chivalrous acts. Concert tickets, a foot massage or two. Not that I have a foot fetish or anything. I uh, just like to know that you care. Uh, they seem to be really hitting it off. So, who taught you all this? A woman? My mother. I? that after high school, you would at least have one kid by now. No, my mom raised me alone, and I didn't want to put my kids through that. What about you? I thought you'd be in some sorority dating some frat douche by now. My parents are undocumented, and I didn't find out until I applied for a scholarship. Bummer. Can you believe that? A 4.0, and it doesn't even matter. Kind of the reason why I'm here. This is incredible. Yes. <laughs> I mean, your looks are just icing on the cake. Oh, sweetie, I don't even care about your looks. I mean, we get along so well, I'm already turned on by your insides. <sighs> well, I want to talk about the person I used to. Okay? No, I, uh, 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 no, blah, 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 blah. no, no, right, no. Right. Little <laughs> Honey, I have dated some truly crunchy, crusty characters. Yeah. You would. You're not a serial killer, are you? Well, it's got to be more than one, right? Choke. <laughs> you! Yes, you yes. see? You're so funny. Right. You're already ahead of the game. <laughs> I tell you, and you're not married. Honey, I dated a married guy who was a polygamist and a liar. Whoa. I just got to explain I a little. I got oh, oh. such soft lips. Oh, yeah. oh. Stop all love that talking <sighs> right now. Okay. Stop. Oh. Daddy, mm -hmm. what you don't understand is I'm not interested in your past. Bubby, I'm only interested in your hair. <clears throat> and now. I heard you might need some pest control. I just hope your rat doesn't end up on our side of the street. How'd you know it was a rat? I'm psychic. 
The mad dog here is psychotic. Uh, you guys should have never messed with fire. You should have never left your sewers. Now, when you get out of my restaurant and go back to your prepackaged food, heat lamps, and desperation, because we serve fresh ingredients here. Wow, that was beautiful. But you know what? Now we can add fresh rat to your ingredients. Let's go, bitches. Wow, I'm really frustrated how you don't move when I snap. Like, we work on this, and God, I am going to kill him. Yeah, I don't blame you. You know, old school Eddie knows some people. No, not him. I'm gonna kill the rat. Idiot. Got it. God, smokes, I'm so alone sometimes. Yeah, we got to eat. Hey. Gracias. Good job. Thanks. So, Susie. Yeah? Oh no, it's the investors. Is this love that I'm feeling? Feel Is this love oh. that I'm feeling? You like him. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> sorry, the investors are here. Oh, already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Osvaldo, I'll be right back. Okay. What the hell? Son? Oh, you guys already know each other. What, did you just call Smoke son? Hold that thought. What's up, man? So we're hanging out? No, I'm not gay. What the hell? You think I'm gay? You're the queer, you want me. Besides, what's wrong with you wanting me? You're the one that wants to hook up. Relax, socks, okay? I just, I You're the I'm one hitting it. up on me. You're like Pacholo Curious, I can tell. Pacholo, what? Tank tops turn you on, eh? Mr. Singh, assalamu alaikum. Walaikum salam. Malcolm X. <laughs> Ladies, sit. Sweetie, that's Arabic. I'm Indian. It's like getting a Mexican and a Cuban mixed up. Somebody is bound to get offended. I am so sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Look, I'm Indian, and I did enjoy the movie Dancing with Wolves, so I just wanna let you know I'm Sue, got Indian in my family, see, I got good hair. Where do I begin? First of all, let me guess, store-bought? Well, it's from India. I have an eye for hair, I think that that is Filipino. You got gypped. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Rogelio, don't call me that. Calm down, son. W would you quit? With this sun crap? Don't call me that. Hey, show a little respect to your father, okay? These are my wives and associates. Okay, let's just start over. I'm sorry. I'm Eve, the manager, and I welcome you all to our profitable taco establishment. <laughs> they don't talk to strangers. You think you're something, son? You think you're a gangster rat? You're messing with the wrong cheese. Where's Gil? Oh, well, he's talking to the health inspector right now. Oh, there's a health inspector here. No. Nothing to worry about. No need at all. Just a routine health inspection. This rat's messing with my head, man. You want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, as a matter of fact. <laughs> around here. Zagat gave us a prize. Hmm. I'm quite familiar with Zagat, but I didn't know that they were giving away prizes. Uh, you didn't know Zagat gave... You, of all people, didn't know Zagat gave prizes. It's the, uh, they don't. The Zig Zagat prize. Suzanne, could you please bring this gentleman and his lovely wife? This is some of our award-winning tacos. <laughs> you walk out on my mom, and now you're trying to date my boss like you're some kind of catch? You know what? I think I'm gonna go. You're good at that. You know, I think you owe me a little respect. Oh, man! Dude, are you okay? Dude, he infected me, man. Probably have, like, rabies, or bubonic plague, scabies, man, HPV. Now listen to yourself, man, okay? The HPV, that's the human papillomas virus. It's an STD. You mean I have to wear a condom for the rest of my life? Do I want to have sex, man? I'm gonna kill that rat, no, dude! No, no, relax! He infected and humiliated me, Mac, just like my last girlfriend. It's okay, bud. 
Thank you, Eve. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, bye-bye now. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, a polite one. <laughs> That's a change. What do you know about respect? I might be your father, but I'm not afraid of kicking your ass. Bring it on! You Americans are so fun. But are you really American? Where are you from? <laughs> Do you want to get me edit? No. How are your hips? Mm, good. Good. Not too wide. Good. You know what? You definitely needed a father figure, you spoiled punk. Have a seat. Come back anytime. Shut up. Eat. I hate you! Ah! Ah! Now I'm happy. Your mother walked out on me. What? Why? Look, I loved your mother, all right? She's not perfect. She has a gambling problem. That's why she left me. Just get the hell out of here. You know nothing about her. Excuse me, Eve. This doesn't affect us, does it? Low life wanna be. No, it's not I'm my fault! No, 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 no. Stop it! Calm the hell down! What the hell is going on? Party with customers? Did he complain about my cooking? I'll explain later. Please don't fire my son. Your son? He's your dad? Yeah, he walked out on me. I tried to contact your mother again. I tried to make things right. I hope one day you can find the truth. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, yeah, and this is for the cheap shot. <gasps> I hope you can forgive me for that, too. Osvaldo! Where's she going? Eve's been dating Smoke's dad. They've kind of been dating online. We've been sexting. We've never actually done it. We sent each other butt naked pictures. That's all. Gil, I'm sorry I lost it, man. You can't fire me. My mom Calm just... Calm down. I'm not going to fire you. Oh. Gil. You okay? Uh, it's just my ulcer. Come oh. on. I got medicine. Come on. Come on. All right. Cool. You okay? We need to lay off them tortillas. Damn. What happened to you? Tano did a tickle took it. They wouldn't let us sell our DVDs at that raggedy lunch truck. What, so they beat Moogers up? They chucked and we driven. And they took our merchandise. You wanna get back at those a-holes? Hell yeah! Let's open up a can of whoop ass. <laughs> you to an item? What? Oh, you guys are homo homies. It's cool. I'll leave. I'm not a home wrecker. Actually, as a matter of fact, yes. You and I are homo homies, right, kid? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Socks. I didn't mean to give you the wrong idea. It's cool. I'll leave then. First kiss. I'm sorry, what? You heard me, fool. But, uh... But nothing. What? Kiss your man. I'm gonna jump over this counter and beat both y'all down. You're gonna kiss. I'm gonna tear you guys apart. Like a... Like a kiss on the cheek? A am I the guy or the girl? If you two go out, I want to see proof. Kiss him. Are you being for real right now? Yeah, come on, man. This is, we don't want trouble. Uh, I'm the guy. Whatever, Q, just... Yeah. <laughs> what in the hell's going on? Shh. They're kissing. You should have never let them work the night shift together. Don't look. No, no, no. Those two need a room. I'm not against their lifestyle. I went to British boarding school after all. <laughs> but I wanted a family-style restaurant. Same. Just deep. One day to regroup. Oh, Gil. You need more than regrouping. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Kiss him again. It's a lengua. Tongue? You know you like it. Oh, you missed a button. No, made you look. Kidding. <laughs> it's a little joke. Did <laughs> you? Go. Can I, can I get you three of our world-famous wet tacos? 
Why not? Quesadilla, three wet tacos! What's a wet taco? Taco what? wet would be, you what? know. Well, the taco resembles in many respects. Is it safe for children? No, no. Well, children come from there. There, boom. That didn't hurt. I knew you weren't gay. You should have just told me. Uh, I remember London. All right, let's see. We got workers viciously injured by a rat. That's not good. Debris not thrown in the trash. Two men kissing at the counter. Not good, but not illegal. That cholo's wearing a hairnet. That's good, but he does not work here. Is that all? This is very serious. I could shut you down. Will you? Now, I'm going to give you one more chance, Gil. One last shot, all right? Now, I'm going to leave here, go to a nice, clean restaurant, have lunch in a place that's not going to give me botulism, and then I will return. And when I do return, if I find that this place is one half as bad as it is right now, then I will have to shut you down. I'm telling you, this has got to be the unsafest restaurant that I have ever visited. No wonder this place is so friggin' empty. Gil, are you OK? Oh. No, nothing's okay. That damn taco truck's taking my customer. It's empty. <laughs> Operation Vicious Pussy. What the hell is that? I got it at Siamese cat fighting rink. Really? Yeah, it's not as popular as dog fights in Bangkok, but... Watch your fingers. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Smells weird. Spider, go check around, make sure nobody's smoking the motor. I don't know what it's like to be in charge of a big business like that. You got to stay on top all the time. Damn rat! I think I need a bigger cat. from the grease wagon. Oh, it's like that. Okay, here, look. You stop the swelling. Oh, yeah. Man up. Thank you. Just wish it wasn't punch smokes in the face day. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. If you don't mind me asking, when was the last time you actually saw him? Who am I supposed to dad? Uh... I think I had a Little League game when I was nine. He was hiding in the bleachers, but I knew he was there. Hiding? What? Looks like thug life went Tupac. Oh God, I spent a lot of money on that cat. I, I bought it from Michael Vick's cousin. It's, that's half pit, boy. It's, I, I, God. Oh, 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 oh. You okay? Oh, I'll get a doctor. I'll get a doctor. What's that? It's a. It's a. I'm too young to die. So much to live for. I got my own fucking list. No, 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 Gil, you're not gonna die. Okay? I'll, I'll call 911. Smokes! Promise me, you'll screw things up. 
What? I, I don't screw things up. Smokes, look after our new investors. Give us an A so they don't shut us down. Ah, I promise. Ah, 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 don't, don't give me mouth to mouth with such a change. Don't we're trying to revive me. I have an open sore. You have an open sore in your mouth? Oh, no, not not in my mouth. So, so you, you, you can give me mouth to mouth resuscitation. That's okay. Come on. Wait. I've never. I don't know. I hope so. I so oh, no. save my life now. Come on. Just. 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 This damn hood! This damn hood! Before I've been driving myself to the hospital. Smokes? Smokes, I'm right here. Thanks for, thanks for giving me the mouth to mouth resuscitation. You got soft lips. So. You think Gil will be okay? Yeah, I hope so. You actually got into a fight and didn't get fired? Yeah, it was, it was with my dad. Luckily, Gil had a bad relationship with his dad, too, so... Right. You fight in front of Susie? Yeah. Why? Well, it's either gonna make you look like a real tough guy... ...or dysfunctional low life with deep-seated issues. Cheers. What are you doing this weekend? Looking for a second job. I have to pay for school. Thought you'd be with your boyfriend or something. I don't have a boyfriend. Cool. Not, not, not cool that you don't have a boyfriend. Because you should, you should, you need a manly, uh, you deserve a boyfriend. Because you're so pretty. I'm just gonna go back here. All right. Sorry about your father. I swear I didn't know. But I broke it off with him anyway. Why? Because he's a dick? No, because you're my boy. Your dad's not a dick. He's actually a nice guy, and he says he loves you. You said that? Man, of course. He's a good guy. And between me and you, I think he deserved what he got. So you gonna see him again? Nah. When it comes to love, I'm like the Clippers. A born loser. Well, the Clippers don't lose all the time. Yeah, well, they never won the championship. And I say the championship is marriage. Gosh, smokes, it's like my life is just passing me by. I don't wanna be a Clipper. I don't want to be a Clipper all the time. Well, who does? I, I'd rather be a Laker. But they can lose, too. What are you making? Some poop juice. Are you aware that your dad is the first man I have ever dated in my entire life that didn't have a criminal record? Do you even get it? <laughs> yeah, we'll just poop on that. Screw up, I don't get it. We heard about Gil. We didn't want this to get out of hand, but Gil represents the old way, the old mom and pop shops. He's regular mail versus email. He's DVDs versus downloads. He's eight tracks versus MP3s. What's eight track? I think my primo's from eight track. I think we might have a problem here. What if there is essay? What are you going to do about it? Nothing? I was just posing a hypothetical question. Don't waste our time with hypotheticals. Okay. Because I am the real deal. Okay? I am the new way. I'm corporate. I'm not pathetic. But we're going to give you a break. Okay? A truce. Just till Gil gets back. We don't need a break. Yeah, we had a break like 23 minutes ago. Besides, you know... This is gonna beat your tacos any day. This is our new secret recipe. Just, just try it. Let's see. Hmm. 
Not bad. What's in it? Special marinated beef. Is that a whole lot in mole? Mm. Subtle chocolate taste. Hint of pine nuts in there, maybe. You know, mole's been around since the Aztec days. That's why they lost the war. But you, you could be a leader. You got executive written all over you. I know you're loyal to Gil, but things change. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. Maybe there's a grease fire. Gil's not here. That could be bad. And I know you know about fires, Smokes. Yep, right back there. Big stack of newspapers, propane tank. Boom! Mommy, I'm burning. Not my problem. You know what? Your taco, nothing special. A huacan mole went out last year. Read the trades. Oh. Oh, okay, um, a, a quick question about the... Is there cheese in the taco? Because I'm lactose intolerant. <clears throat> it, there is? Okay, well... Uh, <clears throat> okay, here I go. I can make it. I can't make it. I'm not gonna make it. <clears throat> oh, God. You boss, you all right? No, I don't know what was in that taco, but I got it coming out both ends. Careful, my appendix might be in there. Oh, you messed with the wrong gringo. Bring the bucket back! So what are you doing after work? I'm leaving early today. I'm gonna visit my mama's grave. Yeah, she died on this very day five years ago. I was in prison when she died. Sorry, man. You going alone? I'm the only one left, pal. Don't you have a girlfriend? There's not a lot of women who want to go out with an ex-convict working the grill. That's not true. You're a great guy. You served your time. Actually, I got it early because the state was broke. You're innocent, right? No. I was guilty as hell. I just hope nobody ever runs my DNA. Yeah. Okay, so then you load the roll and then press... He pressed this button. Print. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, it's not rocket science. That's 4.0. So that's the register. Perfect. I have a word with you? Of course. Be right back. <clears throat> All right, so... My mother raised me alone, but she never gave up on herself or dating. She dated lots of good guys. And some married ones. But don't give up on love. Thank you for this. Hey, Taco Dollar, we're here to kill. What are you, the ghetto Ghostbusters? No, Ratbusters. We have a killer strategy. Say hello to my little friend. Hello. Mm-hmm. Hola. What? We're gonna smoke that mother out. Just a rat, okay? Why don't you pass it over here? Uh, a little more. Yeah. So as I was saying, I got a friend who runs a dirty diaper cleaning service, so we took a ton of dirty diapers and put it under that lunch truck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then we blew out all four tires on that psycho white boy's roach coach and now it's a doo-doo mobile. You're kidding me. <coughs> It was probably those guys from Taco Gondo who gave you guys that play. What are you talking about? I saw those cholos in the back of the store with a shoebox, a big shack foot rat size shoebox. Q, did you just hear that? <coughs> I knew it was those guys. Taco Gondo. Hey, Eddie, what's up? Hey, baby. Oh. I am so sorry about your mom. Oh, I'm not crying over mom. I'm crying over onions. Sure. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Oof. Good. That's good right there, Moo Grace. Oh, man. This guy OD'd. I can't believe it. Drublo. Hey, Q. 
Hey. Leave me alone. Well, I'm not touching myself. Hey, man. I'm paranoid. I'm hungry. Because he's done. Uh, look at, look at. The, the, the rat's got my munchies, man. Shabanawa. He's got munchies, too, dude. Come on, just let me give you a ride home after work. Okay, I will take you up on that out. Any news on Gil? Oh, yes, I talked to his doctor. Just needs to rest and be stress-free. Stress-free? Better stay away from here. <laughs> he suffered a minor cardiac infarction. A mini fart? A mini heart attack. <laughs> Listen, guys, I gotta go crunch some numbers and then give Gil a call and tell him everything is running smoothly. She can ask me, old school. Shit. The health inspector is here. Old school, keep him entertained. Mac, do you catch that damn rat? Number 34, your order's ready. Come on, let's go. Come on, Did he say rat? Bacteria in lemon slices. Yes. Your dirty ice. Uh -huh. That's foodborne bacteria. That's your biggest challenge. Man, you are so right. And it's very difficult to detect. You know, you should be doing my job. I know a lot about bacteria and E. coli. And the neurovirus. That is one contagious beast. You got that right. Hey, guys. Uh, is Gil here? No. All right, well, he does not need to be here. I'm going to go ahead and start right here in the kitchen. Anything I can assist with? I'll tell you what, you call my boss. I think there's a job waiting for you. That is great. I'm a convicted felon. That is a great opportunity for me. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me that. All right. Die, rats! How's the kitchen looking, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> Were those gunshots? No. Uh, no, no. I'm sure it's just the door jamming. You need to check that door. Yeah, excuse me. my head, man. He's messing with my mind, dude. He's in my head. He's messing with my mind, dude. Told you I see him everywhere, man. He winked at me. You're supposed to be watching you. He's in my head and everything. He's messing with my mind, dude. Can you give me the gun? It's that rat, man. Can you give me the gun? He's in my head. Oh. You're supposed to be watching me. Where would did you even get this? It's that rat, man. People love your drama. Well, okay, everybody just relax, all right? Everything's under control. Okay, now it all makes sense. The health inspector is in cahoots with Taco Dollar? Shameful. No, sir, I shut you down because I found diapers and other toxicities under your mobile taco shop. Okay, well, I'll have you know that I was set up. By whom? By them. Excuse you? Taco Gondo is full of shit. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's right. Okay, little guy. You just started a battle that you can't win. So what's gonna happen? World War Tress. Boop. Cracker, please. Hey. I... Not you, sir. Not you. I'm talking to the cracker with the bald head. Hey, I'll fight. I know the art of Kama Sutra. I can screw a woman so good that she'll fight for me. Hey, Indian goddesses. Oh, hell no, you ain't all that. I'm not fighting. That's Yeah. Payback means comeback for El Moco Verde. Moco Verde? Yeah, he was big in Bacaville. Amber, Susie, Eve, can you go outside, please? Hell no. 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 Honey, I'm not going nowhere. Forget that. I'm throwing down with these mighty conances. And I can hold my own. Damn impressive. I have balls, and so should you. Well, I have balls? Really? Because you've been trying to ask me out all day. <sighs> well, if I make it out alive, you want to go out sometime? Even though I don't cook, I'm independent and looking to be educated. Especially because of that. <laughs> Say hello to 
of my big friends. Gil, what the hell? I knew it'd come to this. So I brought two of my buddies from the biz. But they're women. Uh, not quite yet. They're just one little procedure away from it. Bill, Tony, let's kick some ass. Okay, are you the captain of this ship? Dude, we didn't want to start anything with you. Okay, well look, I can either end my competition one way or another. Son, is this still a bad time? Uh, can someone please get my mother out of here? I'm here for you, S.A. Thank you. I should need to prove to you that I'm here for more than sex. Wow, okay. There's people here. Not in my boat. No, no puedes. Shh. Si se puede. Don't judge. What's going on? They're trying to fight your son and close my establishment. These putos want to rumble? I fight crazy. They used to call me La Sad Girl back in the day. Gil, you have a bad heart. You can't fight. I'm OK. It was just a reaction to Viagra. It's very common. It doesn't go down in four hours. I call a doctor. Let's go. El caballo. OK, Beaner. What'd you say? I said, let's go ahead and settle this. Beaner. <laughs> Did you guys see that? El Moco Verde is back. Maybe it's time for you to train again. I'm gonna call Don King. Well, maybe, just maybe. Don't show bien, get him bikini now. Oh my God, Gil, you can't walk? No, no, I'm just tired and hungover. I was partying in Vegas, porn convention. Ugh, twins, my back out. Uh, uh. Well, no tacos, no investors. We're done. Gil. Look who the rat dragged back in. No, look, look. I, I want to call a truce. I was a little late for that now. We're both closed down. All right, we were just fighting over our little bits of turf like a couple of gangs. But there were gangs that were fighting over food. But similar to gangs, we were fighting, so. I one time fought over some pork chops. Sorry. My point is, nobody won. What do you guys do? Do you do? Miko! I won! I won! I won! Oh, hell yeah. I knew it. I lost for so many years, and finally, I won the biggest poker tournament in Carson. What's this? Your money. This is 10 times more than what I gave you. I have a tiny gambling problem. But what about your job? I haven't had a job in 10 years. I'm a professional gambler. And I made it big thanks to your investment. And now I'm investing in you, mijo. But you told me that you quit gambling. I lied. <laughs> you need to loosen up. Open up the taco shop you always dreamed of, Smokey. I have an idea. Gil, we can combine our resources, change the menu, deliver. We can make a killing. Selling tacos? No. Selling more than tacos. Hold up. So you guys are back in business? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. 
I'm gonna crush you like so many dirty cucarachas. Wow. Okay? The truce is off. Your mama. Your mother as well. From the desert to the sea, KULA, the most powerful name in local news. Rogelio Osorio, known in his barrio as Smokes, is a smart young entrepreneur who knew that there was more to life than selling tacos. Everybody sells tacos. We wanted something special. Okay, we know. And the owner of taco shop, Gil Caballo Ramirez, was thinking the same thing. We need something special. And talking about special, you're special. I'd love to work with you. I would love to act with you. you. Man does not live on top of the law. I mean, you have to change it up a bit. Yeah. That's right, sister. This one is for you, Miss Laura Schwartz Lopez. Girl, you is wearing them jeans. <laughs> Chaco Noir, Chou Noir, Chabla. What do you say? We marinate our meat in secret spices and serve only the freshest ingredients from local gardens. Yeah, you want something better than a regular old taco. Yeah, so we have the semita. Uh, hey. Yummy, yummy. It tastes so good, leaves you speechless. Taco Dollar, it's definitely the new spot. Excuse me, I'm actually a bride. Get out of my shot cupcake. Thorn Shorts Lopez reporting live from Taco Dollar. Back to you in the studio. Yeah. 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 Oh, 6.05. <laughs> A given, loving how we living, bobbing the feeling, feeling like a sunny Sunday afternoon. Everybody eating heated, but it's still cool. Nobody acting fool. We just trying to do what we do, how we do it, in the way we do. West coasting with my cholos and all my locs, my relatives, cousins, and my kin folks. Smoking on the bomb and it's legal. With the extra beat bumping in my regal. It's just something about being with my people. Everybody enjoying this young guy, the party popping. We outside of the spot and we make it pop. Everybody enjoying from inside to out. This is what it's about. You ride through and stop. Welcome to the taco shop. Broke my phone number in the bottom of that teddy bear's ass. Damn, dude. That troll has a crush on you, man. You're going to give him the Big Mac with cheese? Oh, I'm going to give you a Big Mac with cheese. <laughs> you want to fondle his fundillo? I don't even know what fondue is, but it's coming from great torture. Fundillo, not fondue. Oh. Hey, nobody talks about Marie that way. Your dirty brown skin will never touch her virgin white flesh. You got that? What if I'm wearing my safety gloves, Bob? I don't care if you're dressed head to toe in a hazmat outfit. You will never get near her. You're not going to the concert. How about that? The closest you're going to get is yard work, OK? You might get to do her hedges. Hey, if I cut the grass, I might water the lawn. Don't make that into a euphemism. It's hard to relate to you guys because our cultures are different and you talk weird, but I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I like war. Well, yeah, of course you do. You're a Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. I was born a citizen. It, no, Puerto Rico is not. That, that's like Hawaii. It's not a real American state. Thanks, boss. You two, you're executive material. What does executive mean, boss? It means you get to wear a suit. <sighs> We're going to court? Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you do your time? Chino. Oh, you know Lou? Not by name. Well, he's got an ass about this big. 
Oh, yeah, Lou, of course. Lou. Hair. Lou. It's kind of like a tail, except it's like, I don't know, you know those Rhodesian Ridgebacks? They're dogs with like a hair spine. Can't say I do. Well, then you don't know Lou. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you uh, do your time? Chino. Chino? You know Lou? No, by name. Oh. He's, uh, he looks a lot like me, except he's got red hair. Mm-hmm. And uh, half his nose is gone. Mm-hmm. He had a bad motorcycle accident before they had helmet laws. Mm-hmm. God, if only he'd spilled that bike during the helmet laws. <laughs> Still have a nose. <laughs> Cadillac vintage, life of a winner, the only way to get it. I gave my mama some cheese to pay some old debts. I told her, don't sweat it, mama, go get it. Money in my pocket, living like a boss, like a young Rick Ross, except I got a job. A couple days later, my mama broke me off. She gave me everything that I gave her and more. Like, hey, Miss Lady, do you want to be my baby? What you doing is driving me crazy. Huh. I met her at the taco shop. I got him saying, Thank you.